I'm Martin, he's Wee DJ, this is the creator expert, Carousel, and we're vlogging it. All right, folks, and welcome back to this vlogging it series. This is a series where we are vlogging our build of this, the creator expert, Carousel, set 10257. And he's watching himself on the camera. I'm not quite sure what he's doing, but he's along for the ride as well. I'm going to need him because I think on this, there's quite a lot more repetition. If you haven't seen the series so far, it might be a good idea to go back and watch bag one or two. Link is up here. And the link will be for one or two. And I'll also put the link down in the description at the bottom. Or at least a link to the playlist, because there's a playlist for it, so you can find it there. So basically, so far, we've built all the bags labelled 1, all the bags labelled 2. And that has got us this far. At the snap of a finger, it will appear. Ta-da! Just like that, there we go. We've got... We'll move the box out of the way so that you can see what we've got so far. This is what we have built so far. We did, yeah, I'll just give you a weird idea of what it does by turning that, and I will talk you through what we're going to be doing today. So let's get into the box and have a look. See what bags three have in store for us. Right, so bag three, if we turn, oh, we've got our sticker sheet. We're going to need that for bag three, from what I can see, having a quick flip through the instruction manual. If I can find where we get to. Here we are, that's bag two. Bag three. Bag three is basically this section. So we go from this, to this and I can see just from flipping through this that the sticker sheet is required and we're gonna have some repetition and then if I can find it where are you just talk amongst yourselves um, yeah there we go time six so I'm glad that I've got this wee dude here Tell me a bit long. But how many bags is it? The last one was. Can you remember how many bags the last one was, we DJ? Five. Five? It's either four or five. And the first step was four or five. So let's see what bag three's got. We've got one, two, three, four. So we have four bags. We'll bring you in and show you them. There we go. There you go, four bags. For this instruction, there's the bit we've built. There's Wee DJ. You alright, Wee DJ? I'm fine. You've got a brick separator there. So yeah, we've got four bags. Four bags for this next section. Right, slightly different format. What I'm going to do now, actually, is spread all these out on the table and sort them. I had a comment on my last video that said that was um, something along the lines of an insane level of sorting. So this time around, I'm going to sort it to my normal level and I'm going to speed it up so you can watch me doing it. If that doesn't float your boat, just jump forward. Right, we'll see you on the other side. Let's get sorting. That's the sort. That took a grand total of 32 minutes 
to sort all that. You wouldn't think it had gone quite so quickly. Um, but yeah, that was 32 minutes of just sorting. So I suppose now that the time is getting on and it's about an hour till dinner time, we really ought to get building. So, just only one thing left to say. We need you, I need your help. No. Let's get... <laughs> and for those of you who aren't dogs, he said building. See you on the other side. All right, so we're not quite there. We've not quite finished, but I wanted to show you at this point before I do this next step, just to show you where we're at, and then you'll see after that how we've got on. So I'm just going to grab the camera and put you around the other side so you can see where we're at. Right, so we've added this bit on the central column, all these panels with the gold stickers as we thought we would on this section. And that's me spinning the base round just to get to the winder handle. Now, WDJ, if you can just turn the windy handle. There you go, you can see that that central column actually stays, that central column actually stays still while the carousel bit spins round. Now, the other bit that we've built so far today is this chunk, which is predominantly a Technic build. And even though he's only a young boy, he's managed to do some of these bits with me, which is absolutely fantastic. And as you can see, he was questioning again at the beginning why there was wheels. But as you can probably see, the wheels will run on these here tiles. The, 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 yeah, the tiles, aren't they? Yeah, not plates, tiles. So yeah, they'll run on the flat tiles nice and smoothly. So what I wanted to do was show you me putting this on, because I know there's a couple more steps for us to do after this. But another thing I want to show you in the instruction book, there is some rare text. It's very rare when you're in an instruction book that you'll see anything because of the sheer number of languages that people who buy Lego use. Very rare that Lego use any language in their instructions but this is one of those occasions so i'm guessing that as we stick this on it should go snap. click so let's try putting this on oh, and see how it goes i'm not exactly sure how it's meant to go i think there is an instruction that shows you somewhere this sits on top of there somehow but you've got to Lick it down. You've got to make it click, but I've got to make sure it clicks in exactly the right way. So that's got to come round to 90 degrees with these steps here. This one here, so Wait, I believe. Right, let's see if it goes click. Was that a click? Yeah. That's a definite click. And now, oh, does that... Does that, what does that do? Does that mean it's, it's stuck down? It means it's attached to the top. Um, I wasn't sure if it would spin or not, but that's but how... It will spin once the bits are on. It will spin once the bits are on, yes, we'll get to that. So, Ray, we're going to carry on with the build, which is only about another five or six instructions, and we'll have a look at where we get to once we finish that bit. We're on, tier, we're on to a two, a three, and a five. That is right, we are on to a two, a three, and a five. That's 235. So I think there's only another couple of instructions before we're on to the next bag. So we're back with you in a second. So there we have it. That is bags number three done. Complete. Like I said, there was only about three steps after that last little bit you've just seen. And that was basically adding, let's bring you in. Adding these uprights here. And there's six of those around the edge. And they basically connect that assembly on the top that we'd worked on to the spinning bit on the bottom. And WDJ is giving you a demonstration now so you can see exactly if you lift it down, if you it lift goes. it down, you can see that the yellow bits underneath there. Yes, we'll get to that. Just one moment. Let me just turn the camera around and let me have a look. So what WDJ was describing there was these little bits here, which I think the technical term is that they act a bit like a cam. But if you can just turn that round for me, please, VDJ. You can see that as it goes round, the wheel here is turning, which has obviously got a cog, not a cog, it's got um, a Technic pin through there, which connects into the end of here. And as that goes round, it spins, and this rotates. The 
resultant, well, the result, basically, is that, that that goes up and down. So we presume that that will be the pieces that the animals that the people ride on, on the carousel, are connected to. So as the carousel goes round, the animals will go up and down. So that's kind of where we're at. I mean, if we go and have a look underneath as well. You can see these stickers as well. There was quite a lot. We've got eight of those kind of panels across the entire middle bit. Eight of them. Four, four of one style and four of another. So there's eight in total. And then you've got three stickers on each. So by my maths, that's 24 stickers I had to put on just for that bag. It leaves me with, I think, about another eight or ten stickers left to do, which go around the edge of the canopy, I think, on one of the later bags. So that was it was kind of a it was kind of a tale of two parts. The first part of the build in this bag was these section set this middle section with the, the mirrored stickers and and this bit just in here that this top section rides around on. And then the second part was and this. The books, the books are the rest of the um, I think the books are actually a printed part because I don't remember seeing them on the sticker sheet, but we will find that in due course. But yeah, so the second half was this big Technic ring, so to speak. I mean, it's working, what has it got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 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 It's kind of got 12 sides, so it's it's not a circle, but it's, what, what is a 12-sided? What if, if you know what a 12-sided shape is called, leave a comment and let us know. Um, but yeah, it's 12-sided. I suppose the bottom bit's 12 sided as well, then, isn't it? Yeah, that's geometry for you. But yeah, the second half was this very technic build, and it was quite repetitive. There was lots of build four of this, six of that, then two of this, which connects to four of those, and six of that. And uh, I suppose that's just the nature of, of something that you're trying to make something round out of flat sides. But it's got to be like that. But anyway, we DJs seem to have, have handled, handled it reasonably well with us. So that was bag three. Bag four, quick preview. That's what it should be by the time we get to bag four. And by looking at the bottom of the page, you can see we actually get a ton of minifigures. A ton being a slight exaggeration. There are one, two, three, four, five, six minifigures in the next bag. But that's six more than in this bag and six more than in the previous bag. All right, thanks for joining us today. We've had great fun building bag three. Uh, appreciate your comments on our sorting. Um, I actually had some more comments during the filming of, of that today. Um, I was following on a, on a Discord server I'm on um, and there was comments coming in about it. So uh, yeah, yeah, I like to sort. I don't know why. It's not like I've got any major OCD going on with anything else in my life, but I just like to have them laid out when I'm, I'm building. And it makes the build last that little bit longer because I mean, I'm sure there's some of you out there who can afford Lego set after Lego set after Lego set, but you know, you've got to be frugal sometimes, so you want to enjoy the experience and make it last that bit longer if you can't afford lots and lots and lots of Lego sets. So by doing that, it makes it last a bit longer. Um, and it gives something for people to talk to me about on, on YouTube and on the Discord. So anyway, thank you for watching. Um, there and there will be... a. I just want to spin it around. He just wants to spin it around. I thought he was going to say something else. But as I was, I was going to say is there will be exclusive photographs from the build on our Instagram, Our Brick Life. Ow, I just hit my head. <laughs> I would like to say no children were harmed in the making of this video, but I'm not sure that that's the truth. You might want to watch your head on the corner of them. They're quite sharp, dude. Yeah? Boom. Yeah. What you won't have seen in the video actually here um, was that during the build, me and we DJ were building and the wee girl came and joined us um, and she sat on my knee while we were building and I mean she's just coming up two and a half so she's still playing with Duplo. Um, but she she um, started saying, I play with Lego, want to play with Lego, want to play with Lego and she's seen Lego so passionately. It's like, yes, she's in the fold, she's one of us. But... She then went on and stacked up the, these kind of beige bits. All the ones that are on here, stacked them all into one great big stack, squashed it all together, which meant getting the bricks separated out and taking it all apart and it messed with my mojo when everything was like that. But anyway, I digress. What I was trying to say 
with the photos will be on Instagram exclusively um, of the build if you want to have a look at them. And that's it. We 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 can go and I'm gonna put this little man to bed, and and then me and the wife are, are gonna have another bit, wedding anniversary tea. This is what we do on wedding anniversaries. But uh, there'll be another video that may or may not already be out. We're getting that, so uh, just keep an eye on the channel. Oh, that doesn't look like it's down properly. You see the things you notice as as you just sat here. Right. Until next time. Thank you very much for being a part of. Till next time. Bye bye. Bye. -bye. Big hugs. Oh, big hugs. Oh, cute dude. Bye bye. All right, time just for a very quick wee DJ update. Yes, you, if you were watching, you saw that he caught his eye with the carousel, and I said, "Oh, no children were harmed on the making this video." Well, yeah, okay. Yeah, as you can see, he really did catch his eye. And um, I think in the morning that might be a little bit bruised as well. But are you going to live? Yeah. Are you going to be a big brave boy? Yeah. All right, well, until next time, you may or may not see WeDJ. What do you think? Do you think you'll be there? I hope so. I hope so as well, because otherwise who else is going to build the little animals for people to ride out on? And that's the bit you've been waiting for. You're going to be all right. You say bye bye. bye.